This is Joe Delio from the Palo Alto Networks community team. This video is going to be covering a brand new option that started with PanOS 7.1. This new option is called Disable New Apps and Content Update. It actually can be found inside of the PanOS 7.1 GUI if you go to Device and then Dynamic Updates. It's going to be inside Applications and Threats, but you have to click on the Schedule and you'll see for the Download and Install Action you get the option to disable the new apps in the content update. You also have the option, I've gone ahead and downloaded the latest apps and threats here and you'll see in the action column you have an install option. You also get the option to disable the new apps in the content update. This way if there are any new applications that have been introduced and you do not want them to conflict with your current rule base with all of your current applications, we can now have the option to bypass that so it avoids all those conflicts. To go into a little bit more detail, while you're scheduling reoccurring downloads and installations for content updates, you can choose to disable the new apps in the content update. This option enables the protection against the latest threats while giving you the flexibility to enable applications after preparing policy updates that might be necessary for applications that are newly identified and possibly treated differently following the update. Before you go ahead and perform any installation of the applications and threats, you'll notice that you have a couple different options here. One of the options is you'll notice that the apps is clickable. Once you click on that, this window will pull up showing you the new applications since last installed content. You'll notice here all of the applications that are new, CloudBase, Prezi, Signal, Rike. Each one of these is going to show you the application name, it's going to show you all the details of it, and each application has the ability to disable it or enable it uh, prior to you installing it. Once you've performed this installation and it has installed all of these applications, you will need the ability to go in and see what applications have been updated. Let's say you have scheduled the apps and threats to be updated and it's updated it and you were not able to see what applications were the new applications. One really easy way to know how to do that is to go into your objects, into your applications. Inside of the applications section, there is a drop down to the right of the search that says all. If you drop that down and just say disabled applications, you will see only the disabled applications. Each one of these applications you can click on and individually re-enable them. As you see here, the app ID enabled says no, you can enable it. Or you actually have the option to highlight it here and then enable each one individually. That concludes the video on the new disabled new apps and the content update. I hope you've enjoyed it, learned something new, and as always, please feel free to make any comments, suggestions below, and please look forward to new videos and articles that we're constantly creating for y'all. Stay secure.